Yo, yo, yo. So today is another episode of Big Cook. I'm doing my lobster mac and cheese. So what I do is I get some lobster tails, some butter. I got some uh, other sorts of cheeses, some cheddar, shredded cheddar. Uh, and of course, I get the box back for the day. Normally, I usually uh, make mine, you know, with the roux and uh, bake it. But you can go box mac. It's just as good. So then, uh, yeah, just crack open that box and then make sure you save that packet of cheese sauce. Put that to the side because that's uh, basically important. And then, um, yeah, I still got some butter on the side of them. I just dumped the noodles in there. And I pretty much just uh, make sure that uh, water is boiling before you dump those shells in there. And then uh, I'm just rinsing off the uh, lobster tails. Definitely want to rinse them off inside the package, and there's always some weird kind of film or slime on it. So I make sure I get that off, and I throw them in the next pot that's also boiling as well. Now I'm cutting on the third eye, and uh, that's I'm gonna make a mini roux. Uh, I'm not gonna jazz it up too much. I just want because I want that lobster meat to really shine through. I kind of just want to add more cheese because what I notice in the box macaroni and cheese sometimes there isn't enough cheese. So, uh, or it's not cheesier than what I like it. So I put some butter in there. Right now I'm just kind of just stirring up my uh, pasta. Make sure that pasta doesn't stick. You don't want the pasta to stick at all because it becomes kind of hard and clumpy with some parts of it. But, uh, so yeah, pretty much I'm just watching the lobster tails, making sure they don't overburn. Once they get to a bright pink, they're pretty good. Or once they once the shell turns red, they're pretty good and soft. Uh, so I give the pasta another little stir right here, and then my cheese sauce is looking pretty nice up there. So then what I want to do is I want to take my lobster tails, actually, and then I want to empty all the water out. I'm just making sure my pasta uh, shells are cooking nice and slowly. Now with the shells, you want to set them and let them cool for a little bit. Uh, I put that in cold water to do that and then right after that I immediately just start uh, pulling the shell apart to rip all that meat out. And um, You'll notice that uh, if you do it, if you let it cool down just a little bit, it becomes easier to peel um, and then you don't want to overcook it because then it'll be rubbery. So then I just kind of dice it up a little bit and I hit it with a uh, little bit of seasoning, not too much. And then so now um, I put a little bit of butter in there, a little bit of seasoning in the macaroni. And then I kind of just stir that up in there. Then I get my cheese sauce, dump that on in there. And then now that's macaroni and cheese, and then I added my own little cheese sauce, added some onion and garlic powder, then I'm adding the lobster meat. Now you can also use uh, shrimp meat or crab meat if you want to, but uh, you know, it's up to you. So then I add a little bit of goat cheese, and then I just kind of let it sit for a while, then I plate it on up, and uh, this was very delicious, and I topped it with some parsley. Subscribe for more recipes.